All right, getting very pissed off at this tire here. So this is one of those solid rubber tires that's 24 inches, but only actually 19 inches. So I do not have the proper tool to do this with. So I'm tying the bitch. Sorry, I'm tying it as uh, well as I can to keep it from falling off. I'm stretching it out as much as I can. Got my oven here on. I'm not setting it in the oven, but I'm setting it near it to heat the tire up because it's kind of cold today and these things do not want to stretch when they're cold. So, as you can see, I got it tied there. And I have screwdrivers all the way around and the sheer, and all these extra screwdrivers, in the sheer hope and prayer that I can actually get this done. All right, so let's see what I can do. See how frustrated I end up getting anyway. Or if I throw something. Because it's been a friggin' task. All right. Okay, so stopping the hyperlapse. I got the tire on. It's not seated worth a shit, but it is in place. If you notice, it is all the way around that 19 inch motherfucking rim. That little bitty guy made it on there. Now look at that. It's, it fits inside the. So now the fun part begins. Trying to get all of this to seat without taking it off the rim. I mean, seated right there just fine. And so just got to adjust a few places. All right. More hyperlapse. Okay, so found the trick to getting these things on without tools, or well, I mean, just without the proper tool, cor <laughs> correction. I used a lot of rounded screwdrivers, I was finding the ones like this that are square, we're leaving some nicks and scratches in my 
rim itself. So, most of those nicks and scratches are on the back side, though, so not a huge deal. But at the same time, get it and um, get it all the way in place. You're probably going to get about three quarters of it in place. So secure it from say here, 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 just all the way around three quarters, so you can't secure it anymore. I originally used wire ties, which worked good. But whenever I got to the point where I was having to pull, I couldn't twist the wire tie on fast enough to, um, to take up the slack. Basically, what I did, I did it kind of like a trampoline. If you've ever put together a trampoline, you start off, you get everything as well as you can. And in those last little sections, you're having to pull like crazy. So you're kind of going here, 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 here. And then you can hook here and here, here and here. When you're doing that, that's the hardest part because there's very uh, there's a lot of tension on one side. And then you just kind of work your way back around. Anyway, so you get my drift. All right. Got one more tire to go. Yeah, let's go ahead and video that as well.
I know that last video was hyperlapsed, but there was a counter on it. It took me right at 40 minutes to put this on. There's a lot of zip ties, a lot of pain in the... At one point, you saw me get up. I had two screwdrivers, or I was using three screwdrivers mainly. These three right here. All, oh, sorry, that's not right. These three right here, all flatheads. All right. So, using the big two to pry it into place while I took the little one after it was pried into place and popped um, popped it into the bead here. So that was this one coming up from this side. And then I took the third one, grabbed the next piece, and pulled it over. Now, the key thing that I'm learning here, or that I've learned, is... You make little steps, very little steps, pulling it all the way down. Don't try to start here and then jump over here, because that is too much of a step. You have to have maybe one inch steps. And it finally gets it all the way there. And as you see, I've already, um, I got it seated and everything, which you probably, which you saw in the hyperlapse. But it is possible to put one of these pains in the butts on without having the proper tool so save yourself 150 bucks if you got the time and patience and it works